What's up everybody, this is Zach with Veteran Construction. We got some penguin weather today, so I'm gonna take this opportunity to make a video for you guys. Today's subject matter will be shapes. Like we're in kindergarten, okay? We're gonna be talking about surface area. Really what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be showing you guys how to measure roofs and the shapes and the surface area you need to know. And I will also be giving you some tips on uh, how to account for, or how to account for scrap the way that I do and uh, I'll give you one tool that's really good for measuring roofs if you're still doing this stuff by hand like I do I, I'll probably never do it any other way and uh, let's see yeah as soon as we're done I'm gonna run through my entire roof up here and show you guys like a live example okay all right so we're out here I'm just gonna show you guys on my roof uh, a couple different examples of uh, how to do this so right here this side the actual shape of this is a trapezoid but you gotta do like one or uh, half of the base with some parentheses and stuff. I'll put it up on the screen. Base one, base two. We don't need to get all into that. I'm gonna explain to you uh, why it's actually beneficial to not do it that way. All right. So, um, so let's break this into shapes. Okay. So we've actually got a square right here, right here, or actually a rectangle, I guess. And then we've got a triangle here and a triangle here. Now these are right triangles, okay? It's a triangle with a right angle. They're a little bit different than this one, which is an equilateral triangle, or something similar. I think it is an equilateral. Um, but if you were to draw a line straight down the center of this, then it would be two right triangles, okay? So that's, so that's gonna play a factor in how we measure here, okay? So, um, and, you could actually count three tabs. So like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is roughly the same as going like this if you ever if you ever need it. Okay. Alright, but we got uh, we got these one here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hold this and measure this rectangle, which is just length times width. Kind of bounce it around a little bit. I never teach this stuff, so bear with me. Uh, I always add about half a foot to my measurements and overall that usually makes up for my scrap perfectly, okay? So, uh, so instead of doing 8 and 17, we're going to do 8 times 8.5. rectangle right here. Now I wanna I wanna show you guys this too because this is the tool I was talking about. Sorry it's a little windy out here today. Um this is the tool I'm talking about okay because this saves previous uh calculations in there so uh we're not gonna have to keep track of a bunch of numbers in our heads and I mean my last phone didn't even do that so that's it's really important that you can download a calculator that uh that has that feature on it okay so all right so that's how you do the rectangle that's just like that roof over there or the roof next to it that's when you're going to come across that or if you can uh, maybe zoom over to that the police the police chief's house over there that one right there uh that's that's an example where you you'll be using length times width a lot okay all right now for these triangles here if i wanted to measure just this one triangle itself then i already know my height right that's 17 and a half okay if i just want to measure this one triangle itself though i have to do one half of the base times height so so one half of the base times height i can just hook, hook this right here three tabs are way easier to measure and uh another room and we got 16. so we'll do 16.5 by 17.5 all right but i have to do one one half of the base times the height to get the surface area of this one right here so I keep taking off the wrong glove it is so cold out here so we got six we got 16.5 times or i'm sorry one half of that which is i don't know let's just call it let's just call it um 
8.5, so we'll make it more like 17. It's no big deal. All right, we're just measuring for to find out how many squares we're bidding for, essentially. So 8.5 times 17.5, and I could have even erased that 0.5 and got the exact number that I should have earlier. That probably just confused you. But anyway, we got one half of our base, which was 16-ish, 17-ish, times our height, which is that. So this one triangle alone is 144. Okay, now we know that this triangle is going to be the exact same as that triangle. So essentially we didn't have to do the one half of the base times height, okay? We could have just done the base times the height and just said this counts as this triangle and that triangle, okay? Now the reason I wanted to show you exactly how to get one triangle is because if you come look over here at this part that we rebuilt, this triangle later so there's going to be times that you actually have to measure a triangle and a triangle in itself nothing else right so um, so let's go ahead and just kind of take this take this from the top I'm going to show you what actually one more thing to explain first before I just take this and uh, go along with it so we've got right here we've also got a parallelogram okay the angled one, all right. I forget the definition of it, but anyhow, we also have a little jog right here. So when I come to measure this, the, this this length right here is, is eight feet. Yeah, eight feet. And that's the same as the ridge. So this is the last the last part that is equal on the parallelogram because if it. If it starts to change and it's not parallel anymore, one of them goes like this, then it's gonna throw everything for a loop, okay? So I will actually cut this off here because the uh, the formula for, for this is gonna be, I think the same, uh, is it base, it's just base times height. Um, base times height is what you'll use for this. No one half or none of that stuff, okay? So, now that we've gone over the basics, I'm just going to kind of show you guys this in uh, real time here. We're just going to start, we'll just start with this side. And if you guys are seeing that my Tyvek doesn't go down over my baby tins and all that, I know we're, I didn't drive, I didn't uh, house wrap this and they were doing it in the dark anyway, so I'm not mad. We're going to make sure that's correct. Just because I know you commenters like to get on, get in on everything. All right, so. We're gonna just measure this one, 17, so 17 and a half. And uh, we'll go right to this point, which is 14, so we'll go 14 and a half. So we've got right on here. Can't get this. 14 and a half times 17 and a half. All right, that's our first number, 253 change. Now we gotta do this triangle here, okay? So we know that it was 17 and a half tall. Go ahead, this side might be a little harder to hook. Now, like I said, I'm not gonna do half because I know that this triangle is the same as the other one, so I'm just gonna measure this whole thing. We got 16. So 16 times 17 and a half. Let's go ahead and put that on there. Okay. Plus the last number we had, which was that one. Hit equals. Now we got another big number. Okay. Let's just keep it rolling with this square here. Eight, 8.5. So we've got for the rectangle 17.5 times 8.5 again. Okay, and we're going to add that to the big number. 
number keeps getting bigger. All right. All right. Sorry. So I lost myself here because uh, I'm not real good at making videos. I'll just be real honest. Okay. I lose my train of thought when I'm trying to teach stuff. So we did this side. We added it to this side with this side included. Okay. Because I didn't do one half of the base times the height. Then I came over here and I measured the rectangle. All right. So now whatever's left is just the rest of this roof. Okay. So now I was just going to double check that this is the same and everything is the same. We're at 16 by 17 and a half. Okay. So essentially that 16 by 17 and a half, which is 280, um, we can divide that by two and get 140. Now that can go for each of these. So we've got one more triangle here and then another half triangle here and another half triangle on here if you were to split this one down down in two so we can just multiply that by three if we want that equals 420 and we can add that to the total which was the big number up here boom all right so we're at 1102 now we're going to go and we're going to measure this parallel so we had eight foot just because i remember from earlier we'll just go ahead and hook this right here and now you want to measure up to the height which is 15 is what we'll go with get your code again God bless it. 8 5 2 0 yeah. 4 6 okay okay so we've got 15 by 8 that's all you do for parallelograms also that equals 120 add that to the big number okay and then we've just got to add a little bit for this we have 8 feet here might as well might as well call it 9 for the difference and then this looks like about 3 so we can just go ahead and just put on there Hey, focus. So we can go ahead and just put on there plus 27, 9 times 3, just to make up that little bit. That's fine. Okay, now we're at 1249. Now we absolutely have to make sure on this one we do one half base times height. This is all that's left on this little triangle here. Okay. So it doesn't really matter one which one's the base or the height. We got 15 there. As long as you don't use the hypotenuse, and I remember that that number was 14 and a half earlier. All right, so we've got right on here, we've got 15 by 14.5. Uh, but we can hit equals and divide by two. That's pretty much the same. That way you don't got to split a number in half. Okay. And then we'll just add that to the big number. And that is my entire lower section of the roof here. Pretty much the same exact thing would happen up top, so I'm not even gonna waste my time teaching you guys that. So like down here on this roof, I was able to use the same number to get around my triangles and everything because this is a hip roof with all equal sides and ridge height and everything like that. These guys didn't know what they were building before. I mean, you should have seen this valley before I got my hands on it. Um, I'm going to be posting a, a video of us reframing this pretty soon here. They had a round valley in this area. I don't know if you can wrap your head around that, but you'll see. It was crazy. So we're not going to get into that, like I said. I mean, the, the pits on that roof and that roof are completely different. They're, they're both at the it's freaking nuts. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. Feel free to comment. If there's anything I left out, let me know. Um, I do very little time. I spend very little time thinking about these videos, to be quite honest with you. So, <laughs> all right. Thank you, guys. Bye.